Hey guys, so I got these three Nexus phones, Nexus 4, Nexus 5, and the Nexus 6, and I want to do a quick uh, benchmark comparison. Uh, now in this video, um, we're not going to do the Intuit benchmark because it's not working uh, well with the latest version of the Android, which is the Marshmallow. It's not working well, uh, so I think we can go with the Geekbench 3, uh, which is also a nice uh, app to go for in terms of benchmark numbers and all that. Uh, I'm just gonna show you here in uh, main settings if I just okay go back here and about phone section 6.0 marshmallow this is the official version uh, then also same for the Nexus 5 6.0 uh, and for the Nexus 4 this is not the official this is the unofficial build because of course uh, if you know if you are into technology and all that you know that the Google didn't release the um, the factory images or 6.0 Marshmallow officially for the Nexus 4. So if you want to install it, you can install it using any custom ROM by rooting and installing custom recovery and all that stuff. So you can check my channel out for the tutorial. And yeah, so this is 6.0 Marshmallow. So it's, it's going to be fun to test out the benchmark here. So uh, we're just going to quickly launch this application here on uh, all these phones Geekbench 3 I'm just gonna search okay so Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 and Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro so let's quickly run benchmark and see which one will be better of course the Nexus 6 will be better than the Nexus 5 than the Nexus 4 but yeah it's just a video to show you guys the overall benchmark so let's see 43 percent okay I'm just gonna enable the Wi-Fi on these two phones because of course we're not gonna see the results without the Wi-Fi connection Nexus 6 is almost done. Okay, error occurred. So we got a score of 1078 uh, in terms of single core and also 3308 uh, with the multi core. So, yeah, it's better than the Galaxy S5. It's better than. Um, yeah, it's better than the Galaxy S5 and the Kindle Fire. Of course, uh, not the other main Android phones are listed here. Uh, Multi-core wise, it's also better than the S5. So Nexus 4 is almost done. And we got a score of 508 single core and 1586 multi-core. So if we compare it to the older Nexus 4 score on the Lollipop, so we got an improvement from 496 to 508 and in multi-core we got improvement from uh, 1565 to 1586 so definitely on marshmallow you'll see a little bit improvement and then we got the nexus 5 wow that's pretty awesome score single core wise it is um if we compare it to the older nexus 5 it has a little bit improvement 898 now older one was had like 860 and the multi-core score is also 2,844, even better than the Galaxy S5 on the Snapdragon 801. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and then also it's way better than the uh, Nexus 5 on the Lollipop. So yeah, that's uh, a quick benchmark. That's uh, you'll see improvement here on uh, all these Nexus devices. So it's really a must upgrade if you have a Nexus phone and if you are still running the Lollipop you're just doing the wrong thing for your phone so just update it and you'll get improvement and uh, yeah that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one peace out